Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Leos, also, if you're interested um, in your Leo Zodiac candle in my Etsy shop, the link is down below. And don't forget, if these messages resonate with you, <clears throat> hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos, please. Okay. So Leo, your energy, we have the seven of wands. You're viewing your person or what you like about your person, the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And what you don't like, the fool energy in reverse. Your person could be a cancer or they're showing up in the chariot energy. What they like about you. Ooh, you like the same things about each other. Two of pentacles. And what they don't like is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Now where you see this connection going, the Tower in reverse. How they're seeing the connection. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. And where Spirit is seeing the connection right now, Page of Pentacles in reverse. And we see the Four of Swords. Okay. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of mirroring going on. Possibly you're dealing with another Leo here. But what I'm seeing is that you're in this guarded energy, Seven of Wands. And with the overall under the deck, the Four of Swords, this is telling me that things are not moving forward. And we see that here as well with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, that you could be at a stalemate. Okay, so someone needs to take decisive action towards the other person. Now, the Seven of Wands energy here is your energy, which tells me you're quite guarded. But Leo, I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on, um, yeah, you're like you're working on up leveling. You're uh, doing a lot of self care, a lot of self love. And you've been holding back, but you're seeing clearly now because you've been able to recalibrate. You've been able to reset your energy, build up your strength and your stamina. <clears throat> you've made some important decisions based on clarity about this relationship and about this connection. So what you like about your person, what you both like about each other, it really is essentially the same thing. It's the two of pentacles and the six of swords all right so you what i'm seeing here is that this person this person has a peaceful energy or a peaceful aura about them and i feel like you you really like that i feel with the two of pentacles this is also somebody who's very kind of go with the flow like they can roll with the punches so i'm seeing here that you like this person because they're quite laid back even if you're not completely compatible, there's something that you see in them that maybe you wish you had or you feel like really brings you balance. So again, it can be a case of you having what each other needs or having what each other don't have. Now, what you don't like about this person is the Fool card in reverse, Aries energy. So this can be somebody who's a bit impulsive at times, but it's kind of interesting because it's very different it's very different. So I'm wondering, and I'm hearing you could be dealing with a Gemini here or someone who has two very distinct sides to their personality. Like one thing you like it, like they're very peaceful, they're very calm, they're very go with the flow. But the fool in reverse can be the opposite energy. Somebody who's kind of impulsive and undisciplined and a bit confrontational. Um, so I'm wondering here if that's sort of throwing my Leos off balance a little bit, that this person might be a little bit hard to read at times. Sorry, the word I'm looking for is unpredictable. Okay, and we see the magician energy in reverse. Yeah, Virgo Gemini energy. So yeah, this is kind of like an indecisive energy or an inconsistent energy for sure. 
And this could also be somebody who in one moment is very go with the flow, very calm, very relaxed. And the next minute they're kind of impulsive. And it's like they're, they're really, they go back and forth here. And they can switch into being sort of fussy and kind of conservative and a little bit harsh. Um, or maybe you feel like you can't completely trust them. Just one moment. Oh, sorry, I had to pause the camera to sneeze. Um, so I'm seeing that here with the Magician card. Some Like, you're having a hard time. I don't know if it's emotionally trusting this person because they go back and forth between these two these two sides being very calm and peaceful and then the opposite interesting energy here all right so i mean we all have a shadow and a light side you know we all have multifaceted personalities but hmm, i'm wondering if it's too unpredictable now they're showing up as cancerian energy so as somebody who's quite creative and loving emotional it's also a faithful energy protective and the Four of Cups, yeah, but this person may not be giving much to the connection right now. I kind of see both of you maybe have pulled back. Could be mirroring each other for sure. But this person may not be emotionally available right now, Leo. And that might be why you're experiencing like this hot and this cold with them. Or, you know, this one moment really calm and relaxed and the next minute really tense and kind of impulsive, maybe confrontational. Hmm, seems like there's a bit of a push and a pull. What they like about you, Leo, is the Two of Pentacles. See, I see them seeing you as go with the flow and relaxed. Um, they feel like you're honest. You say what you mean. You mean what you say. Um, you've got a fresh energy or you bring a very fresh energy to this person's life. Um, what they don't like is the Eight of Wands energy in reverse. Is that my Leos, you may come off as a little bit guarded at times or maybe because you're dealing with somebody who kind of yo-yos a bit back and forth, okay? So they, it, it feels like this person definitely goes through a lot of ups and downs. And they may see you as guarded, but I can see exactly why you're that way or why you would feel that way. And the Queen of Swords, maybe you've been harsh with them with the way that you've communicated. Um, so on one level, they like the way you communicate. The, they like that you speak your mind, that you say what you mean. But um, yeah, this person's really kind of back and forth. There's a lot of duality to their personality for sure. And, you know, that can be a bit of a roller coaster, Leo, because I'm seeing here in one moment, they like what that you say what you mean and, you know, mean what you say. And the next minute they think, wow, Leo said, said exactly what they meant. They didn't sugarcoat it and was kind of harsh with me. So hmm, I can see why you're feeling pulled in a few different directions here. So you're in the tower in reverse. I think you've pulled away, Leo, to avoid disaster at this time. <clears throat> and we see the Ten of Cups energy in reverse. You're not focused on a higher level of commitment with this person right now. And I can see that. I can, And I can see why, because there's a lot of push and pull. There's a lot of duality here. I'm feeling, as, as a reader, I'm feeling a bit confused with their energy because one moment it's up, the next moment it's down. Okay, so it does feel like a bit of a roller coaster here with this person. They're seeing the connection as the Ten of Swords as over, but wow, but they're very passionate about you. They're reminiscing. Um, this person, again, we kind of got that like anxious, indecisive energy here. And now it's like they, again, the Ten of Swords, it's over. But then Gemini energy is, yeah, you know what? Let's talk. Let's be fun, you know, like be flirty. Um, I'm going to come in. I've made a decision. I choose you. I'm so attracted to you. So Leo, I'm wondering here if we've got some, you know, if we've got a bit of a red flag reading for you with this person. They're very, very back and forth. They may just not know what they want. Um, they may not be healed from something from the past, or there could be some sort of third party or energy around them that's really affecting them. Spirit saying, page of pentacles in reverse. Hmm, don't invest quite yet into renewal here or moving forward with this person. Yeah, that's your energy. I feel like, Leo, you're getting a little bit of a warning from spirit. Um, this is somebody who really does get stuck in their head and they might not be ready to make any sort of take any action or make any real solid commitment with that page of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who gets really in their head about, I feel like making decisions. 
Um, they kind of feel like they're all over the place. They kind of feel like they're back and forth. It could be because there are other people around them, romantic or otherwise. It could be family, you know, with the Ten of Cups energy in reverse. It could be that family and friends don't necessarily approve of this relationship. So you might see in that case if this person... Um, you know, is one way with you, but then when you're around other people or in public, they're another way. Yeah, see, Spirit's saying you're being protected here, this reading being flanked by fours, and there's definitely instability here. You're, you're being asked to be strong. This is a tower moment, letting go. Yeah, I'm seeing, you know what, you've got a big decision, but Spirit's definitely telling you to think twice about a higher level of commitment with this person. You deserve reciprocity. You deserve balance. I kind of feel like this person throws you off balance because they're so wish-washy you know it could be that they're they're a player but I'm not really getting it I'm kind of feeling like there's more like family or friends influence here um I think Leo's you know you know what's up here and that's why you've pulled back your energy or you're protecting your energy you're seeing things clearly some of you may have even just spoken your mind you may have even been a bit harsh with this person but you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at you for that, really, because their energy is kind of all over the place. Yeah. Some of my Leos, you do feel stabbed in the back and you've made a, a hard, a hard decision, a tough decision here, but you're making it with clarity. And this person, they might, they feels like they're going to come in and chase you. This person may have abandonment issues. So one moment they might push you away. And then, you know, the minute you go away, they may come, you know, come right back towards you. Yeah, your person definitely has a block or a restraint here. Although I do feel like they're they're strangely possessive of you, Leo. Um, but there's definitely something they need to come out from under. It feels like it's something having to do with their family or their traditions or something like that. Um, but yeah, spirit saying, you know what? This is this this feels like a karmic lesson, Leo. And I know these are probably not the messages that you want to hear, and it might not be for everyone, and that's okay. Now, you two might be mirroring each other, but I kind of feel like, you know, if this person is always mirroring you, um, you know, enough is enough. I feel like you called them out or you stood up for yourself or you set up boundaries and you're like, you know what, mm -mm. you've done some introspection, things aren't working here, that's what I'm feeling. Um, this person, you know, this person I feel has some growing and evolving to do for sure, Leo. So a lot of you, I feel like you're going to be taking your strength and your courage to move in a different direction, to focus on healing here. Obviously, the choice is going to be yours, what you want to do, because I do feel that they're not, they don't feel like the situation's over or they're not done here. Um... But yeah, your value in this life is immeasurable. And this is what I feel. I feel like you're rebuilding your self-worth, your confidence, because I can see how this would definitely chip away at you um, or make you feel like confused. You have a beautiful and distinct purpose that no one else can claim. So focus on your self-worth and yeah, just building yourselves up, Leo. And the divine masculine exhibits action, assertion, logic, and reason with strength, which allows progression forward. And for a lot of you, that's not what this person was exhibiting. I feel like my Leos, this is what you're exhibiting, but you need a counterpart, someone who's going to match your energy. And I'm not feeling it from this person. I feel this person so wish-washy, so back and forth. And truthfully, I don't think you need that. But anyway, we have your purpose in, in a connection is to guide someone to find healing light. You will assist in their awakening. So you probably, you serve a purpose for this person, Leo, for sure. And I know that's not always an easy thing and it's not something that we all want to hear, but I do feel like you're assisting in this person's awakening and, and that's why we're getting this karmic relationship energy. Um, be, but, you know, you cannot, um, you know, you, you, you can only do so much. That's what I'm hearing, Leo. And I'm just, there are too many red flags in this reading. Um, and I don't see anywhere where Spirit's saying, you know what, Leo? Yeah, try to work this out. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm seeing heal, focus on you. Um, there's too much instability within this connection. You may be calling in your true divine counterpart by wrapping up this karmic cycle. Yeah, some distance will help bring clarity because I'm feeling too with this magician energy in reverse, Leo, this has been really confusing. Be most likely this person's very charismatic. They probably say all the right things and when they're up, they're up and, you know, and things are great. But when they're not, it feels like it can be quite messy. It feels like it can be very confusing. And this rejection is actually divine protection, Leo. 
and spirits asking you about your integrity. Does this align with your values and your morals? And for a lot of my Leos, you absolutely know the answer to that question. Okay, it seems pretty evident in the reading. But again, you want, don't want to give your power away to a reader or any reading. And, you know, uh, trust your intuition with your particular situation. Um, but I, I, yeah, I would be very careful here. All right. Um, so we see trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So some of my Leos, you might be struggling with the decision to shut this down or to move in a different direction. Or, you know, a lot of you, you've told them off or spoken your peace. But I feel like Spirit is sending you a new soulmate on your path. All right. Yep. And the situation involves marriage. So I do see you ending up in a higher level of commitment. But clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So it feels like you've got a big decision to make. Um, you do have true love coming in here, Leo. All right. And I haven't done this with any of the other readings, but I do want to see who this who this new energy might be. I know it's a little late in the game here, but somebody here needed to hear this message. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Leos. Who is this choice they have coming in? Yep. Look at that. You've got this is a karmic lesson, Leo. Straight up. A mirror of yourself, this is a connection that intends for you both to balance your feminine and masculine energies and evolve your soul. But isn't that interesting? You were dealing with a mirrored soulmate, but someone who is karmic in nature. But now you're really going to call in like a healthy mirror is what I'm hearing. Somebody who's going to match your energy. All right. Um, it's going to be quite intense. I always get Scorpio vibes from that card intense but at the same time you're going to feel at ease with this person whereas I feel like with this person here although at times you felt very comfortable with them and at ease at other times you didn't and so it was like you it's just there's a lack of emotional trust there with all the up and down or the back and forth and this is going to happen unexpectedly and it's possibly an Aquarius coming your way or someone with this energy, someone with a highly developed intellect, they're a pioneer of ideas, an engaging communicator. This is someone you're going to meet unexpectedly. But again, they're going to be your they're going to be a mirror of yourself in and more of the positive respects, not so much in the in the fact that it leads to a stalemate situation. All right, Leo. So I'm gonna leave it here. I do hope these messages help um, give you a uh, uh, clarity and guidance, peace and ease as well, that a lot of my Leos out there, you've made the right decision, even if it's been difficult. You do have true love and commitment coming your way. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, sending you so much love and light. Take care.